Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Mizamor 3D avatar into Character Creator 4. There are about hundreds plus Mizamor 3D avatars in its websites. How are we going to convert it to become the CC avatar into Character Creator 4? So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can go to my video description to click into the first link. That is the Mizamo 3D avatar. So you can click into the first link. It will pop out another tab. Right. It takes a while to load all the avatars here. 96 per page and you have totally two pages. That means the first page you already have 96 avatars. Then you click the second page here. You can just count one by one the page 2 you have 16. So it is more than 100. To choose your avatar, you just need to click click on any avatar that you want. Then click use this avatar. Then here it is the loading process. And you have to wait for a while until the avatar is finished loaded. Right, let's say if I want to have this avatar, just click use this character, this avatar. Once it finished loaded the mesh, you still need to wait until it finished load up all the textures. So now it is loading, just wait for a while. Let's say if I want to use this avatar, I want to convert this avatar into character creator for CC avatar. What I need to do is just click download. And here you must make sure you choose the T-Post FBX and click download. It will download as FBX file. It takes about a few seconds to download this 3D model. Now you can see it is already finished downloaded. This is Google Chrome browser. So I just need to click here and click show in folder. It will be inside your download folder. See again, click here, show in folder. So this is the FBX file. Next, I'm going to show you how to import into CC4 to make it become CC avatar. So now, I'm going to open my CC4, the character creator 4, and then drag in the FBX file. Drag in into here, and you have to choose character, humanoid non-standard, click apply. And here you can see it automatic detected for auto conversion. This is the Mizamo character. It already chose for you, so you just need to click OK, and it will become become the CC avatar. Right, you click characterization. You can see all the rigs already map properly, and click again. Now you can save it as as the I avatar. So just need to go to the custom. Choose the actor, character, and here you click save. Click OK. So this is the the new avatar. You can rename it as well by right clicking, then rename it. You right click to find the file, it will open the folder. Right, you can see this is the i avatar. The iClone avatar file. Right click view large icon. So for any time you can drag in the i avatar into character creator 4. And of course you can save it as a CC project. Just need to click file, save project as. Save it into the same folder or as demo. I will save it on my desktop. 
the avatar CC project, it will become a CC project. And next time you can open it again or drag this iAvatar into Icron 7 3D animation software that you can use it anytime for your 3D animation project. Alright, let's say if now I open the Icron 7. Sorry, this is the Icron 8. The CC project of the character creator 4 is corresponding to Icon 8. So the AI avatar that generated by using the character creator 4, it will be compatible with the Icon 8, but it is not compatible with the character creator 3 and Icon 7. So now let us have a try. Try on the CC avatar, the CC AI avatar just now. Because first you already save it as the I avatar. We want to try it in Icon 7. Sorry, this is the Icon 8. We are going to try it in Icon 8. Now the Icon 8 is loading. We are going to wait for it to finish loaded. Okay, now the Icon 8 is already finished loaded. We are going to try the I avatar just now. Just drag right in not dragging in the CC project, but we are going to drag in the I avatar. Drag in. Now you can see this I avatar already in iClone 8. We are going to try, and now a little bit lag, we are going to close the Mizamo. Close it here. Okay, now we try any of the motion. At this moment, we can just close the character creator, the character creator for close it. Now we go and choose one of the motion here. Any of the icon motion file. Choose it from here. Any of the pose here. You need to download it first, for example, just double click it to download it. Now, the animation already finished downloaded, just double click to check any of the animation or I just click back and back to the motion file. It is under animations, motion, pose. Alright, let's say now I try to test test the the pose. Yes. It is okay to apply any of, of the icon icon motion. Any of the motion file, just apply it. Yes, it can be applied. And we already successfully converted it. We already import the Mizamo 3D avatar into Character Creator 4 to make it become a CC project and I avatar for CC4 and also the iClone 8. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! See you!